In this shoemaking tutorial, I will show you all tools and materials that we use in my new Dr. Martens boots course. And I will talk about alternative tools that you can make by yourself, even industrial machine, like sanding machine. So, let's get started. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. In this lesson, I will show you tools and materials that we're gonna use when we will start cutting our leather and we will sew it and assemble last and finish our shoes. Okay, so this is types of leather that we're gonna use. This is calf skin for upper the thickness of this leather is 1.2 millimeters you can use also uh, thicker leather because we are gonna make boots and for boots we can use thick leather even two millimeters thickness okay so we used 1.1 1.2 millimeters for the upper and for the lining we use this vegetable tan leather goat skin leather with a thickness of one millimeter Lining doesn't need to be too thick. Uh, usually we use lining with thickness of 0.9 or 1 millimeter. Here we use, uh, we will use uh, lining with thickness of 1 millimeter. You can use for lining calf skin, goat skin, sheep skin, and pig skin. We use goat skin. Uh, let's talk about instrument that you're gonna use in this process when we will cut our leather. We will use special clicking knife but you don't need to have the special knife you can work with simple utility knife what you need to have is good blade okay sharp blade and each time you need to change the blade to have sharp blade silver pen to mark lines owl because working with owl we can mark is, um, some points and lines we will use it a lot in this course compasses to create certain lines during lasting for example to mark the edge of the um, midsole that we need to cut we'll talk about you will see where we will use but compasses simple compasses now these are tools for the cutting and uh, process for the carving and assembling when we move on we'll need to have shoemaking knife with curved blade for better better scarving because when we need to scarve with thin edge we can place it lower when we need to scarve a uh, thicker edge we can place it like this okay so the curved blade Shoemaker hammer with two edges. With this one, we will use during assembling also, and this one. Okay, then during lasting, we also will use the hammer. During sho shoe sole making, we'll use the same shoemaker hammer. So, this hammer it's enough to work with uh, in the entire process of Martin's uh, boots, creating of Dr. Martin's boots okay now uh, we will talk about materials other materials that we're gonna use when we move on for a lasting process this one is the Texan board same board that I use in my courses but in the Martin's boots we will for the insole we will use only Texan board with a thickness of 1.2 millimeters or 1.5 millimeters Thermoplastic material for the toe puff, and we will activate it with the industrial fan. And you can buy industrial fan in any local store for this purpose. This one. Or if you have good um, domestic fan, you can use it. You can try to use it as well. And this material, this non-woven chemical sheets 
fabric that we will activate working with the contact glue. We will use it for the counters, the reinforcement that we place in the heel between upper and lining. For the glue we use contact neoprene glue. Okay, this is uh, one of the brands. This is contact glue for leather. Now let's talk about other tools and materials. When we will start to last, we will use this professional pincers for lasting. It has the jaw width of one centimeter. Also, we can use uh, pincers with a width of jaw of eight millimeters as well. And it has this part, the hammer that we use as leverage during lasting process. This uh, tack puller to take nails off, but if you don't have it, if it's hard to find it, you can use pincers to take nails off. Then we use glue, contact glue to attach uh, our upper and lining during process of lasting. Then we will create midsole, okay? And midsole, material of midsole, is this vegetable tan leather. It's soft and not, uh, it doesn't need to be too hard because uh, it uh, will be easier to work with if it will be flexible like this. The thickness of this vegetable tan leather is about four or five millimeters. And it could be also part of belly or shoulders part. Now, also, Uh, in the process of assembling, we will use this reinforcement tape adhesive with adhesive side. And the width of this reinforcement tape is 16. It also could be 14 millimeters. Okay. Now, I forgot about steel shanks that we will place um, in the process of insole making. When we will last our shoes, our boots we will place steel shanks. This steel shanks is a big with a, for big sizes. Uh, if you have smaller sizes, you need to find a little bit smaller steel shanks. Okay, these steel shanks that we will shape following the shape of the shoe last button. The thread, that's this nylon thread, to sew our upper together with the midsole for stitch down construction. The thickness of this thread is about one millimeter, 1.2 millimeters. It's already, uh, it's ready-made thread. If you can find, uh, for example, waxed thread, you can use the wax thread. It's a nylon thread, for example. Eyelets. Eyelets that we place inside of our holes to keep laces. Okay, this, this, the diameter of, of these eyelets, it's about uh, five millimeters. Okay, you can use smaller if you can find, but this is average size of eyelets. Okay, puncher for the eyelets. Um, the puncher must be with the same, same diameter that you will have on the eyelets. Okay, other instrument that we're gonna use here in this course to close the eyelets. This instrument and banner created by himself. It's a simple steel pin that he sanded on one of the edges to create this cone-like shape. And we will use it when we place our eyelets to close them on the inner side of our upper. Our there are different types of owls. Uh, what is important is to have curved owl. We, we will not use for sewing, not this owl, straight owl will use or owl with curved shape. Yeah, so in this course, 
you will need to work with uh, sandpaper if you don't have special brush to scratch this the surface of our shoe uh, this one to scratch the surface of leather uh, of um, foam okay the sandpaper with a low grid if you can use sandpaper with grid 120 then we will create shoe soles we will use this foam ever foam the thickness of this foam is uh, one centimeter and we will, we will create shoe sole, we will attach the foam to the midsole and then with the foam we will create also the heel. So our shoe will look like one block, shoe sole with the heel, okay? So it's very light material and it's this foam for example has this surface with this ornament. You don't need to have this type, you can work with simple flat foam, okay? And the tap, taps for the shoe sole and for the heel. This is rubber tap, taps that you can buy at your local store or at some cobbler, for example, because they use same taps for shoe repair. In the process of finishing, we will use special colorful leather, we'll use black one. This one, the color uh, to dye edge of our midsole and the shoe sole. But uh, if it's difficult to find special color for leather, you can use simple wax. We used black wax. Just find the color of, of the wax that's similar to the color of your upper and uh, apply it on the shoe sole and you will see how to do it and the name of brand isn't important, use the simplest one. And in, this, in the final step of finishing, we will use also a simple brush for shoes. In this course, we will use a lot this unconventional un shoemaking tool, Dremel. Dremel drill, okay, with sandpaper here. This head we will use during process of shoe sole shaping, okay? Also another few steps, so we will need to work with Dremel drill and together with Dremel drill you will need to have goggles and mask to protect yourself. So now I will show you a good solution to work in shoemaking instead of sending industrial machine, how you can improvise. You can work with simple drill, attach it to a table someplace where you will work with clippers, okay, so it will be stable. And here you can create, for example, this is tool with cone shape that Bunny creates from ever and you can to create it like this and shape for example edge of the shoe sole and instead of Dremel for example you can create this tool. This is how you can create this kind of sanding machine at your home with simple drill. In this shoemaking tutorial I showed you very shortly all tools and materials that we used to create this beautiful Dr. Martin's boots but in the course I show how to work with tools, with these tools, how to work with these materials and how to create alternative tools as well. It was very important for me to show you that you can make boots like Dr. Martens, like a pro, using simple tools and materials. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.